I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to measure blood pressure in children. When we go to measure anybody's blood pressure, really, there are two commonly used techniques. One that's growing more and more popular is an electronic device that has an automatic blood pressure cup. The device pumps air into the cuff, and then a sensor within the device listens for the sound of heartbeats in the vessel, usually the vessel of the arm, uh, as the blood flow returns. The computer listens for those sounds and calculates an appropriate blood pressure. This system works really, really well in people who have a uh, good, normal, steady heartbeat, in people who don't have any abnormalities of their blood vessels or heart abnormalities, and it gives a good general picture of what the blood pressure is. You can buy similar systems for the home. These are automatic blood pressure cuffs to be used in the home. The other way that we do it, which you'd consider the old-fashioned way, is a doctor, nurse, or other trained professional like an EMT uses a manual cuff with a little air bulb. does the same thing. You pump air into the cuff around the arm, but instead of using a computer to hear the sound, you use a stethoscope. Again, you're listening for the sound of blood flow returning to the artery in the arm that's been squeezed off by the air. This is an important method to use when the blood pressure is in doubt or when there's some sort of abnormality or irregularity in the heartbeat or problem with the heart that makes blood flow sometimes a little bit irregular. So if I'm worried about a blood pressure in a child for some reason, I'll often recheck it myself rather than just trusting the machine. Now there are a few important rules about taking blood pressure right. The most important is to get a cuff that's the right size. You'll see on all blood pressure cuffs that they're marked with a little white line. And when you fasten them, one side of the cuff ought to fold within the zone that's marked by the white line. A cuff that's too large for an arm will give a reading that's artificially low. A cuff that's too small for an arm, you guessed it, will read too high. So you want to make sure the cuff is the right size. The other thing you want is to make sure that the arm is in the correct position. Uh, the vessel in the arm should be at the level of the heart. Now, in a baby who's lying on a table, that's kind of automatic. But if somebody's sitting or standing, you want to support the arm up a little bit so it's not just lying at the side. Having it down too far may artificially elevate the blood pressure reading that you get. You don't want the patient tensing their muscle and holding the arm up. You want to support it yourself or have it on a surface where it's resting easily. You'd also, obviously, like your patient in a calm comfortable situation. If they're upset or in pain, it's going to raise the blood pressure. And if what you want to know is what the blood pressure normally is, you're not going to find that out that way. So talking about how to check blood pressure in a child, I'm Dr. David Hill.